Hi everyone, it's Nat here on with the last part, part three of making the altered tunnel book thing. So this is the one I've already done, so I'll use that as a guide because do you think I can remember from one night to the next what I did? Uh, no. <laughs> so put that to the back there. So I fussy cut all my painted bits that you saw me paint in my last video and I left a little edge around when I cut them out because I like the way that looks. Um, I did only stamp three of these yesterday so I grabbed one of the ones that I used last time and I only did two layers of stamping so you can see that's um, not as bold as that but I'm going to use it anyway because I'm too lazy to stamp one last thing. So they're all our bits and pieces, so I'll just put them at the back here. And we'll get assembling it all. It was really fun watching it come together because I didn't have a plan. I had no idea what I was doing. And it was just lovely um, putting things in bit by bit and seeing that they actually looked okay. So firstly, we'll do what we're going to put in our little back window. So for that... We used one of these. Now, I know one of these when I was fussy cutting, I cut a bit off of that I didn't want to cut. Whether I'll be able to see which bit that is or not. Oh, I can't even see. Maybe it was something else, but I was sure it was this. But that's all right. One of these we're going to cut into two bits anyway, and then one we'll keep whole. So we'll keep this one whole. And what I'm going to do is put that at the back of my window. Now, it looks like I didn't make my window quite as big as in this one. Because in this one, you can see the whole piece. But that doesn't matter. I actually would prefer it if you couldn't see the end of that piece there. So, And then we have to fit our hummingbird. So I'll make sure that my hummingbird's going to fit all right too. So the hummingbird sits on top of this window page bit like that and hangs over so I just like to have a look and see whether I want to shift things around and where I think they'll look all right just open my other one so I can and that was sort of a bit like that but you can play around with it make it however you like anyway it doesn't really matter so I might put it if I do it like that Quite like that so I think that's where we're gonna stick that so now what I might do is just grab my big clip just to hold the pages up a bit and out of my way Let's be careful all right I'm just gonna use my Helmer's glue for this I hope you're all doing well. It's been funny weather here in South Australia. It was 30 degrees, so quite warm for this time of the year yesterday. And then today we're back down to, it's either 16 or 14 here. So that's quite a big drop. So I'm looking forward to when the weather's sort of a bit warmer more often. So I'm just gonna stick that like that, I think. Now, pretty sure that's the only thing that I put on this back page here. So what we can do now is glue this lot of pages down to that lot, like that. And then we put a hummingbird on. So I will stick glue all over this side. if it wants to come out for me. I think I've got glue RSI from sticking all the pages together. All right, that should do. So I'll just put that down, press it down. Got some book crumbs. So now we've got our little plant in our window there. 
So the next thing we want to do is a hummingbird on the next level. So again, I'm just going to clip my pages up. See if I can get them all up. It'll be a bit easier. So, although I do need this a lot just to see if my placement's all right. So with my hum hummingbird, I wanted him to be risen off the page. And it looks like I used two layers. So what I've got is this double-sided foam tape. It's quite a thick one. So I did use some of that. So I've just cut a little bit of it off. Look, I've already gone and bent its little beak too, the poor thing. As long as I don't rip it off. That wouldn't look so good. So I've got that piece and I might just chop that in half. So we're going to sit him somewhat like that and sitting up a bit. So I want to put the layers underneath him so he stays up and doesn't fold in. So what I do is just put a piece of my tape on his, on the back of him there. And then I piggyback it with another piece of the tape just to give it a, ni a nice bit of height. Now I haven't taken the um, plastic bit off yet so it's not sticky and that way I can just check. Yeah, and that sits there really nicely. So the next thing I wanna do is just see how far in we want him. So, cause I do still like to see a bit of his wing and tail there. I think we'd sit him something like that. So then it's a bit of my Helmar's glue just on his little tail end and just on his little wing ends. And now I'll take the little plastic backing off before I forget as well. It's very sticky, this double-sided foam tape too. I couldn't get it off my fingers yesterday. So wipe the glue off the top. So I want a bit up there and then a bit there and then I throw my glue and catch it because I'm pretty talented like that. Just getting some of the excess glue off of his tail and wing so it doesn't ooze too much. So I think about there So before he dries too much, I'll double check. Yeah, I like that placement. And I'm pretty sure I still have to do some more of my little flowers on this level as well. So that was these ones. I'll show you. We've got the background flower there, and we've got a hummingbird, and then we've got these little flowers here. So that was the one piece that I just chopped in half. And again, I didn't realise I wanted the base of that down so you couldn't see it. Um, because you can sort of see where it ends there, and I didn't want you to be able to do that. I think I was hoping that these flowers would hide it, but I didn't quite make it. So this time I'm going to make sure I put them down a bit more. Put that back there and we'll grab our little flowers. If I can find them, then they are right in front of my face. Doing good today. It's been a long day because I worked at the bookstore this morning and then I went out for lunch with my work colleague. And then, you know, home to do dishes and cook and all that, so getting tired. But determined to do more crafting. So I think I cut it. Did I cut it that much? Yeah, I did too. I ended up cutting it just here, like that. So I've got these two pieces. And I had one over this side and one over this side. Now, when you first do it, I wasn't sure where I was going to put things. So what I tended to do was keep having my flamingo and putting it there so I could see where everything in the background was going to go and how it was going to affect if you could see it behind the flamingo and everything. But because I've already done it once, I'm not going to worry as much about that. But it is something to, um, you know, think about as you go. So I think we're doing something like that. Oh, 
Oh, and didn't shut my glue. Can't you tell? I waste more glue than I use with this bubbling out. So I hope the weather's not too bad where you guys are. I see over in New York, there's been horrible flooding, which is really sad. Um, with the people living in their basements and that. I can't imagine how scary that would be. See, that's much better. That's down where we want it. So you can't really see the ends there. So this one is all right where it is. Feel like you need eight hands when you're crafting. You get really good at um, closing your glue with one hand too. It's a bit of a talent, that is. All right. So that's those two pieces stuck down now. So that is it for that level by the looks. So that means we can glue the next level down. Just double check that we're happy. Yes, it will do. So this video will probably be a bit quicker. Well, I'd hope it would be a bit quicker than the last one with me trying to paint. I said the painting's a lot more fun when you relax and do it in front of the TV and not on camera. I've got heaps of books here and that because I collect ones that get thrown out. And I used to collect a few here, there and then everywhere um, on how to paint. <laughs> One day I should probably read them. I just don't know if I've got the patience. <laughs> so don't have much patience these days. I suppose that's what comes after you've brought up your kids and they leave home and that. You've, by then you've run out of patience. <laughs> okay, so that's starting to come together nicely. So next level, looks like I had a flower, but I did put one up here and I put that on at the start too because that's not going to affect much. So I'm going to do that again. So I did put one of these sort of up there like that. Now, do I want that one with the words going that way? They're sort of going the right way, aren't they? So, I might, not that it really matters. I might put that one up there. So, we want to get glue there and there, maybe a little bit on the top of that one. I'll try and remember that now, what I just said. Oh, my glue. And everywhere. I'll just dab it over. Get the strings off. So I'm thinking about like that. Let's get this glue bomb that's on the top there. So that's a little flower up the top. Sometimes I just curl them down. It is, you know, the paper's still quite thin, so um, it can curl the wrong way and that, so I just sort of bend it down. So it looks all right. Good thing is, is because you can shut it, that protects it if you don't want it to get bumped in that while you're transporting it or whatever. So that is that. So I think on the next level down, we did, by the looks, we did a hibiscus flower and one of um, leaves and I've got to figure out I might do the just thinking where I want to put the one that's not too colored he might end up down there I might do next though is one two on this level we put our little flowers that we painted in orange so I might actually do those next and they sit about there like that. They're so pretty. So I reckon we'll stick them down next because that helps me with the placement of our leaves a bit more because then I'll be able to see how much of the leaf I can see as I'm putting it in. 
so I'll just clip these ones. And so we just want glue just down the bottom sections of this. If it's at all possible, you probably want your finer tipped glue. I'm just too lazy to use it. I've got some art glitter here, but I find that quite runny and messy. So I don't have the fine tip for it. So that's something I must invest in in the future. So again, once you've stuck it down, um, just have a quick look that it's where you want it in case you want to move it. And I think I like it down a little bit more even. So I'm just going to move it down that little bit more. Yeah, I like that a bit better. Just make sure that's adhered. Now we've got our other flower and leaf to do. Just got to keep looking at the other one to see which layers I put things on because we do have a leaf just under here. So they stick down like that. And I think I did my flower on that level as well. Actually, no, I did my flower down a level by the look, so I might put that one there. I'm trying to figure out where I want this one. That's a bit of a dud, whether I have it there, which I don't think I will. And then I think I have my flower under that leaf. So I think I'm pretty right to go ahead. And stick that leaf there. See, I need to do tutorials for myself so I know what I would, so I remember what I did. It's a good thing about doing videos is you can look back on them yourself to remind yourself. So I think that's not too bad. I think I'll put it up a little bit. Yep, that'll do for that one. And then we've got to do a flower, not that one. <laughs> I'll rip off what I've already done. This one's pretty well where we want it, so I might just clip that up there. Grab our flower, and I slipped this flower just behind the leaf a bit. A bit like that. So if we can get that to stay there, we'll stick our flower down with the glue that's running out everywhere. Should show you what I'm doing, shouldn't I? So I'll lift this up a little bit and position this where we want it, which was, and then double check before it dries. Yeah, that'll look all right. And then just double check we've got our leaf where we want it. I think it's better back. A bit like that. Have a look. And that'll do. So that's that, those little bits done. So now we've still got two leaves, and so it's really not much that we put in there. I thought I'd have to do so much for it, but I think it would have been quite busy. I mean, it could do with some more like vines or something around here. 
So we've still got to put a flamingo there. And now I've got to see if I want to use these leaves or not. So one goes under there and the other one goes under there. But again, it really doesn't matter. You can stick them wherever you want and as many as you want. I don't mind that. I just want to see if I swap them over, whether I like it better. If it was like... No, I think I like it the first way I did it. He'll be like that, and then I might bring this down a little bit, like that. So we'll just stick those two leaves on, try not to move them too much so I know where I want them. Done well. Oh, I think what I did before too, which makes it so much easier, and I don't know why I only just thought of this, is you can, like, on this bit that you're not going to see, just trace around it. And then you know exactly where you wanted the silly thing. <laughs> I always think of these things last minute. But, hey, at least I remembered to tell you. <laughs> Although you probably thought about it way before me. And glue's being stubborn. So now I can easily see that we'd wanted it there. And so we'll do the same with the other one. Just clip it up. Do a little trace around there. Bit of glue. Wasn't that easier? Like that. So that is it, other than our flamingo right now. So that means that we are safe now to stick all of our pages together. which I'm happy about because I'm sick of sticking pages together. some glue strings around. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, so for the flamingo, I did the same as what I did for the um, hummingbird. I used some of my double-sided foam tape and piggybacked it. I think I did about three layers up from this level here, the one, two, third level and then two layers from the second level, just so that he had a bit more stability under him to sit up. And then I used Helma just on their tail and a little bit of his elbow there and his little feet. So what I did was I tried to, I'll grab my pencil again. Look, if I put him up against the edge, Get him sort of where I want to get him. And then I tried to make a mark to show where I wanted the tape, which is a bit tricky. And then a second level would be about, if I can get him so he's not crooked, Out there. So I'll grab 
grabbed some more of this stuff. So we're only going to need quite thin bits for this. So I'm going to put one there. And then I'm going to piggyback him once. going to put one just there. Now at this stage I can see, and that's got the two, yeah, so we're going to need three on this one. So I'll take this off. Did I take that off of that one? Oh, it's coming off. I think I must have. <laughs> then I'll take that off of there. Oh, it's so sticky. <laughs> I told you it stuck good. Sticks good to me, not so much the paper. And this is our third level piece that will sit on top of that one. Ah, like that. Okay, so they've both got their stuff on, so they're not going to stick where they shouldn't. So then we can double check again that it's going to sit all right. So that's going to sit like, that, I think it's going to just be all right, press it down a little bit, don't want it to be too high. I think that'll be all right, just got to get it, there we go, that's where I needed it. All right, so this is the hard part. So what we do now is take our little backs off. See, I've gone and um, ruined that a little bit, haven't I? So what I might do is just, if I put a little bit of glue on here, because I pulled this one off, it's taken the paper off there, so it's not so sticky anymore. But I'm pretty sure I could, you don't need it to be too sticky. It's really just to hold it off the paper a bit anyway. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to that. And that should hold it all right. Make sure I get it where I want it. Lovely. So we want a little bit of glue. On his tail and on his little elbow possibly and on his little feet now I've got to try and get him where we want him before we stick things so I want him about like that him too much and then he sits just like that oh I think with the um, three layers of tape that I put under him I actually think I squished before I stuck him down which I still can just squished them together a bit yeah And then you just might have to bend his head a bit so it doesn't stick out so far or whatever. But that's basically it, guys. So a little fiddly, that last bit with the flamenco. Um, otherwise, it's sort of is quite an easy project. Very effective, and I love the way it turned out. And this is a very basic one, though. I've seen so many pictures of them, and some are so amazingly intricate, and I'd love to do ones like that. So have a go. I'd love to see what people come up with. So if you do do one of these, then, um, you know, if you do a video or something, um, make sure you link me in it so, or mention me so that I can check it out because that would be great fun. And if you know where I am on Facebook, shoot me a message and show me a picture or something. That would be awesome. 
So take care of yourselves. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, have a good weekend and I will see you again soon. See you later.